Well, good morning, my friends. <laughs> Joy here. It's Saturday, and it is January 23rd, 2021. And I've got my devotional opened up to today's day. <laughs> I have been working on a really long video. I didn't want it to be really long, <laughs> but I'm having so much fun. I keep thinking, oh, I need to tell them this. Oh, I need to tell them that. Oh, I want to show them this. Oh, I want to show them that. <laughs> so I probably should broken up, be broken up into like 10 different ones, but I'm going to try to just keep it all together. And of course, I'm talking about my scan and cut. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that is the funnest machine in this house, I'll guarantee you. So let me have a sip of my... Which kind is this? The, hmm, I don't remember, but it's really good. <laughs> Ooh, tomorrow's is going to be a really good one. Okay, today is called The Basics. The scripture is John 15, 17. And this is Jesus. This book is called The Illustrated Words of Jesus, so I guess everything in this book is something Jesus said that is in the Bible. So this one is John 15, 17. This is my command. Love each other. Well, he said that a lot of times in the Bible, didn't he? <laughs> Love each other. That is no small request these days. I have never seen so much hatred as what we saw this last year. Oh, let's don't even talk about that. Okay, let's see what the lady said. And those that have the book can follow along with me. It's so basic. Just love each other. But it's not always basic to do. Why is it so hard sometimes? Maybe it's because self gets in the way and your focus is on how circumstances affect you or whether you're being treated fairly. Oh, hello. That's my life stance. <laughs> that isn't fair. That isn't fair. That isn't right. That isn't fair. Back to her. Sometimes it's because people have different beliefs and, well, let's face it, some people are difficult to love. But just think, if everyone obeyed this basic command and gave others a second chance or the benefit of the doubt, as each of us wants for ourselves, then our world would be a lot more pleasant. May it begin today with each of us. You know, it is so, so true. You know, we have these people who are the complete opposite of what we believe as Christians. They believe something completely opposite. And if the Bible says it's wrong, they just say the Bible's wrong and it's just a book and throw it away and don't pay any attention to it. And, um, you know, we say what we're doing is okay and you need to just accept us. So, because we're loving Christians and we love each other, we start to say, well, okay, you can do that. Okay, we'll accept that. Okay. Well, now that all of that's been accepted and it's been integrated into our formerly Christian society, now all of them hate us and demand that we change and that we just shut up and be quiet and never talk about the Bible or what it says. I can't go there. I just can't go there. They caught me too late. They just caught me too late in life. It would be like them telling me to throw Jerry out. Throw Jerry out. He's no good. He, he did this or he did that or he said this or he said that. We don't like him anymore, so get him out of your life. It just can't happen. If you, if you get him, I go with him because we are one. He's half of me. I'm half of him. You can't separate us. And that's the way I am with God. In Jesus, they are in me. I'm in them. The Bible says that God's son Jesus and I 
and you if you're a Christian, that we're joint heirs. You can't separate us. You can't tell us, don't listen to him anymore, don't believe him anymore, don't talk about what he says anymore. I, I just hate that that's actually happened. And I hear all the time, even right here on my very own video channel, you shouldn't talk about religion, you shouldn't talk about the Bible, you shouldn't talk about politics. Why? <laughs> Why? Okay, so that's today. That was very good. That was today's devotional. And why aren't I showing you what I'm wearing anymore? Because I ran out of dresses that fit me. <laughs> I had to put a skirt on the other day. I could have gotten in it twice. I could have put it on Jerry, had him come up here and wear it. I don't, I don't think he would have done that for me. He loves me, but not that much. <laughs> Maybe I could have put it around my desk. I mean, it was so huge. And I just thought, okay, okay, I'm not going to wear these clothes if they're just way too big for me. So, I am wearing something. I think I've worn it a couple times. I don't think you can see it in the close-up. Let me back the camera off. Can you see me now? Can you see me now? And, I'm sorry, <laughs> I don't know what pattern it is. Always, always, always look in the description box below. I will put the book in the description box below. If I can find a pattern, I always go and I look after I make my video, if I can find what pattern this was, I will put it in the description box below. But this one, instead of having a point in the front or a point on the side, um, it's got a point on each side. Let's see. Now this is a pretty silky, some kind of a knit, yeah, but I don't think it looks good on me. I don't look good in a light gray or light light colors. I don't think. I think I don't think I look good in pastels, but this is kind of a combination. <laughs> so anyway, this still fits me. You know, I could make it smaller, but it's fine. It's meant to be blousy. It's kind of flowy. <laughs> okay, so stay with me. Don't unsubscribe yet. Because <laughs> I'm coming out with my scan and cut video really really soon. I won't have any devotionals in it or anything like that. My devotional um, is just going to be a separate thing because I don't want to add it on to an hour long video and it's already been made. So hopefully maybe later today, maybe tomorrow, we can all play scan and cut. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs>